Long before there were Twitter trolls, there was pen and paper. A time when writing offensive letters landed people in prison and a mystery that gripped the whole of Britain. Holy heavens. Carry on. Dear Edith, you foxy ass old whore. In the end, I think it's just jealousy. Do you feel certain that Rose Gooding's guilty? I can't see why they think it's me. Some of the Virgin making history here. <laughs> I was a bit roisterous once or twice. The new movie, Wicked Little Letters, is inspired by a real-life scandal and a string of anonymous poison pen letters that rocked the sleepy town of Littlehampton on the English coast in the 1920s. The movie stars Olivia Colman and is directed by Thea Sharrock, and they join me now from New York. Welcome to you both. Uh, and thanks for being on with us. So, Olivia Colman, you play a kind of a buttoned-up lady of the era uh, in, this, in this seaside town. This very gregarious uh, Irish young girl comes to the town, played by Jesse Buckley. You become friends, and then you're dealing with a string of poisonous, horrible letters that are being directed to you, and it's about who did it. Edith Swan, who I play, uh, on the face of it is a uh, pious Christian, sort of the perfect uh, woman of that time. and. Uh, very well behaved, lives still with her parents and still weirdly sleeps in the same room as her parents. Oh, that's weird. Um, weird. And <laughs> and then uh, Jesse plays uh, Rose Goodley, who in that period, the, you know, everybody looked at as, you know, a shocking example of womanhood and, and an unmarried mother. <gasps> and uh, uh, But these two women become friends. They sort of see each other because uh, we, we find out that behind closed doors, Edith is not having a nice time. And uh, it's, it's not a particularly loving household. Um, and this, this friendship sort of starts up, but then something happens, which, because uh, I'm not sure what happens. Yeah, yeah. Spoilers, we don't want to do spoilers. Do we? Um, <laughs> OK, so I'm going to uh, take it from the there, then. Start arriving. Yes. I'm going to take it I from there, because it. this investigation then starts when you start getting these yes. poison letters. Those are the wicked little letters of the title. And Rose, Jessie Buckley, gets arrested because she is uh, thought to have done this. I want to play one of the clips. We did it. So we did it. You're charging her? Under libel, not a small offence. No, it isn't. But what's the evidence? Motive, timeline. You let me out of this cell, you ate a fing son of a fing son of a fing Similarities in the language. Mm hmm. So I can see you both laughing as you're listening and remembering. And I mean, so much of it was bleeped that we can't figure out what the heck is going on. Was there a lot of, of that on, on set? Are you all pretty potty mouthed and you were allowed to deliver. <laughs> Shall yes, we tell the, the truth? The, yeah, go, go on. on, Thea. Olivia's incredibly potty mouthed. Is she? <laughs> so is Jessie. Butter though. wouldn't so melt in Jessie. your mouth. And actually... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we all are. We, we all are. We all like it. Proudly. Good, yeah. Yeah. I think it's a nice seasoning of language. And isn't it a bit restrictive when you go to try to promote this thing and you can't really show uh, any scenes or talk in that vernacular? Well, um, we, that's why we don't do live telly. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I get quite nervous and I get a bit more sweary when I'm nervous. I'm really trying not to say anything bad now. You're doing really well. I really You're am. You're doing really well. Amazing. What, what are your favourite swear words? <gasps> oh, now, you see... Can we say it? American audiences really aren't keen on my favourite word. No. See? Can you imagine what my favourite word is? Uh, I'm not going to say it. I will be lambasted and pilloried. <laughs> um, well, I do maintain that it's actually quite a cultured word, cos Chaucer did use it, but yeah. is my favourite. Oh, OK. Well, we'll be bleeping that. Thea, do you have <laughs> yes, one? I thought you might. <laughs> Well, I like to counterbalance, so yes. I go with bollocks. OK, I think we can keep that one. That's not okay, too bad. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Thea wins. Uh, Olivia, you're clean out of luck. Thea, you began your career, you know, with amazing theatre here in the UK, and, and, and I wonder whether you see in what you've done, not just from where you started but where you are now, whether roles for women are, are beginning to be taken as seriously as they should, because women... Are, are they considered now big box office draws? 
I would say yes. And actually, I mean, research suggests that they've always been big box office draws, but they have chosen to say, don't get me started on the pay disparity, <laughs> but male actors get paid more because they used to say they, they draw in the audiences, and actually that hasn't been true for decades. Yeah. Um, but uh, they still like to use that as a reason to not pay women as much as their male counterparts yeah. in our industry. And should I Sorry, ask you? I just totally... Jump. Yeah, yeah, let, let's, sure, let's ask much Tia, because I want to know whether, yeah, tell me, yeah. Uh, do you have a pay disparity? I mean, you're an Oscar-winning actress, Olivia. I'm very aware that uh, if I was Oliver Coleman, I'd be earning a f of a lot more than I am. Really? And I'm not saying I'm, I, I'm absolutely yes. I'm, I'm aware of, uh, I know of one pay disparity, which is a 12,000% difference. 12,000%? Wow. about that later. Oh, gosh. Yes, tr do the maths, I know. Well, look, on that note, Thea Sharrock, Olivia Coleman, thank you both so much for joining us. Wicked Little Letters. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thanks for having us. And the movie is out in the UK right now and in the US on March 29th.